Hey guys, it's Half Fight. I'm back again, and today is my monthly makeup basket for April. I'm a little behind, but we got here in the end. The theme for April is Pastel Princess, which I took some major liberties with. Um, I, I, I don't wear a lot of pastel makeup. Okay, occasionally wear neutral eyeshadow. Generally don't wear pastel lipstick, because it doesn't look good on me, because I'm pretty pale. Um, so I, I took a few liberties and I picked things that um, on the whole were um, royalty related rather than pastel. Um, yeah. Some uh, products that I've already used this year that I'm re like using for another month, I've given them a month break and I'm back to them. Um, yeah, but we'll go through that as we get to them. So, first up for primer, um, which has actually nothing to do with Pastel Princess. It's just, I have a limited number of face primers, and so I'm trying to work my way through the different ones and try out the different ones. So, I'm using the AOA Studio Poreless Primer, which is a silicon-based primer, completely clear, supposed to be pore filling. I don't know if it is. Just what I'm using. Um, I tend to focus my primer in the T-zone area. Not because I'm particularly oily, like I'm not really oily anymore, um, but because that's where the majority of my pores are. Um, I used to be a lot oilier than I am now. Um, yeah, it's been a difficult couple of weeks, which is why I am behind. Um, I haven't, I just haven't felt like filming. And so I haven't um, got other things going on. So for my foundation, I'm using the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. Um, I probably use far more than I recommend because a couple of drops just doesn't cover this. Um, or I'm using it wrong which is quite possible. This is in light. I'm using my new fish brush with it. Um, I, it's the 9th of April today. Um, I've already been using this makeup for a week. Um, not that I wear it every day or anything, but of the days that I went to uni last week, I wore it then. This is literally how I apply it, which may not be the, um, you know, the correct way, but it's what I do. And, you know, like, I'm really only going for light coverage. Uh, I'm not, like, hugely keen on this full coverage thing. Probably because I'm a bit older and full coverage just looks dry and cakey on my face. Um, that's just not my vibe. I don't want to look dry and pasty. Um, and this foundation, just like almost every other foundation, regardless of the primer I use, will sink into the frown lines on my forehead. It is just the way it is. But at least this one, I've realised if I try and mix this one with anything else, the thing that I mix it with just ends up like shit. So I don't do that anymore. Like that mistake last month uh, when I did that and it was a bit of a disaster. Um, as you can see, I've got this crusty patch right here. It's the spot where I always get a breakout when I get my period. And for some reason in the last month, my skin has been right in that spot, has just been super crusty. And I admit my skincare is not the best at the moment. But yeah, this total control doesn't cover doesn't cover crustiness, but it's fine. just want a little bit of coverage on my face. So last month I used 
um, my Fit Me in 05, and that was fine. So this month I started using my Fit, Be Fit Me in 15, which is also supposed to be, like it was previously the lighter shade. And it kept going yellow underneath my eyes. Like it would dry darker underneath my eyes. So the area under my eyes would end up darker than all the skin around it as soon as it sat down and I thought that's just fucking weird apart from anything else. Um, also I don't like that <laughs> so I've actually decluttered that. Um, so this month I'm gonna use the Match Perfect from Rimmel. I think, excuse me, I think I used it in February. I don't like the applicator on this thing. Just for a bit of extra coverage under the eye baggage, which I have in spades. And we'll put a little bit of extra on the evil spot. But yeah, it, I don't think this is. I, I prefer the Fit Me to pretty much anything else at this stage when it's in the right shade. So I might have to stock up on the 05 next time I'm in Priceline or next time they have a sale in Priceline. Which they just had one but I didn't have the gift card that I have on me at the time. <laughs> I wasn't going to spend any actual money. I've done enough of that in the last couple of weeks. I bought some more nail polish. Uh, even though I got like if you watch my last video, uh, my unboxing of the stuff I got from Omnia, um, she sent me a whole bunch, but I had one of the, the stockists I used for like my acrylics and stuff, they had another sale on, and they literally had OPI no polishes for a dollar and two dollars, and I was very controlled, but I seriously could have spent like three hundred dollars. I didn't. Could have. Um, to set under my eyes, I'm using the Australis Already Set Go Finishing Powder, which is a white finishing powder, which is my preference under my eyes, although I was using Flash the other day, and I hadn't blended it properly. It's not a good look. It's going to set through my T-zone. The, um, the NYX sets down pretty, pretty fast and, like, almost completely matte, so, um, yeah, I don't really have to, really have to set my face, because my face is, as I said, it's a bit dry these days, that's what happens when you get old. And we'll just, no, I'm not going to bake. I have not noticed that baking does anything whatsoever for me other than making it look cakey as fuck. So I just don't do it anymore. Okay, so, um, although I haven't really, I don't think I contoured much last month at all. Um, I'm going to use Havana from Astralis, which I used I think in January when I was using new stuff. I did have on my list, because I go through my, um, makeup inventory that I've got on Airtable and I did go through that um, and I had put in Tan Queenie which is one that I had from Smooch and then when I went to go and find it I couldn't find it so I don't know whether that was one of the ones I decluttered or something it may well have been and I just I didn't put the stuff I didn't take off the stuff that I decluttered from my inventory, clearly, because there are things on my inventory that I no longer have. Which means at some stage I have to do what I did last year, which is go through my inventory again and update it. Which I kind of need to do anyway because I have this big bag over there that has all the new stuff in it and I don't like putting the new stuff in my 
drawers until I put them in my inventory, so they're all just sitting there. Yep, I'm such a well organized person. And that one looks darker. Okay, so for blush, I have two choices. Um, I'm supposed to have another one. Hang on a second. I pulled out the wrong one. Okay, so for plush, I have this one from Lacura, which is Aldi's brand, which is Soft Rose, which is the stupidest packaging ever because there's like this empty spot. And the blush is literally half the container. Just make the container half the size. Don't put a brush in it. Just make it half the fucking size. Excuse my French. And the other one I have is this duo. This is from Smooch. This is peachy. And the reason I picked this, you know, this one is kind of a pastel and it's, you know, rose. It's kind of a princessy type thing. This one is for um, Princess Peach. So, yeah. But I'm going to use the Lacura one today. I'm just going to put my brush between. Um, I never understand duo blushes because 90% of the time I just go between the two of them. Like, because they're always too, like they're not big enough to get one brush in effectively. So it's like, unless you're going to make, for some reason this side is ending up way darker than this side and it, maybe it's the light that I'm looking at it in, um, but it's like, you don't make the pans big enough for me to stick my brush in, like, I'm having one of those days, it's my brush size, it's just, it's just fucking stupid, as I said, I'm in a mood today. Oh, I was going to blend that out a bit. Don't want to look too cray-cray. Not that I'm going anywhere today. Um, so for highlighter, I'm going to use my brand new highlighter. Well, one of my brand new highlighters. I have like five of them. Um, <laughs> from Pretty Sweet Face. Um, this one is Galactic and um, Thick Space Princess. This one has got like a green sheen to it, which honestly, I look, for some reason, a green, holy cow, <laughs> holy cow, uh, I am quite happy with a green sheen on my skin, um, maybe it's because I'm slightly blue colored anyway, so it's like, well, you know, kind of look a little alien-esque anyway, so might as well make the most of it. Just a little highlight down the center. To make it look like my skin's a little more dewy than it actually is. Um, by the way, yes, I am wearing bunny ears to keep my hair out of my face. I saw them at the shop and I was like, I have to buy those so that I can wear them in videos. Um, even though the way my video is framed, you can't see the ears properly. But yes, our bunny ears. Got them from Audi's, actually. There you go. Um, okay. So, next. Brows. Um, I am using the cello pencil, uh, which I used... Um, the month before. Oh, my brain just doesn't want to work. I took a month off from it last month um, and used, I can't remember what I used last month. 
A something else. I think I used a powder last month. It's sometimes really hard to remember. I mean, I've probably got it written down. Hey, that would, you know. I wrote down a lot more last month than I did this month. Because I had a lot more stuff. Um... forgetting which was last month and which was this month and like reusing products um, because according to my list for March I was using the AOA primer only I wasn't I was using um, baby skin I'm pretty sure I don't know I'm struggling to remember what day of the week it is apart from anything else um, so I've got Normally I would be getting ready for uni right now, but I don't have to go today, so that's why I'm filming. Um, I have just this week left, like, so tomorrow I left at uni. Um, it's Tuesday. I only go Monday through Tuesday. Uh, Monday through Wednesday. Um, I have uni all day tomorrow, and then I have two weeks off. I have an assignment that I have to get done during that two weeks. Hopefully I'll get most of it done. I've got most of it done already. Um, there's just one section I've got to do some reading for before I can do it. So I'm um, using Extender Brow. I might well have used this last month, but what is? It's one of those products that I'm trying to use up this year because I've got two of them. Um, it's just, they're just little fibres to add some volume. I have quite thin brows. Part of that is because um, I have like um, sort of like trichotillomania only it's very localized where I pluck hairs out. Um, so it used to be my eyebrows. Um, it is still to an extent but now it tends to be any stray hairs that are, or hairs that are really annoying me, which is actually a bit of a problem because sometimes the hairs that are annoying me are right in the middle of my eyebrow. And my eyebrows tend to stick out at weird angles and that annoys me, which is why I tend to trim them like really, really short. Just so they don't stick up. But then I look like I've got no eyebrows when I don't put my eyebrows on. <laughs> um, that is the Tint My Brow from Astralis. That was that was what I was using there. So now I am going to zoom in because I'm going to do my eyes and I know how much some of you love it when I zoom in even though you can see my terrible eyebrows. So for eye primer I am using um, the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Nude. Um, I used the white one last month. I'm using the nude one this month. I just keep swapping them out. So, yeah, they're not exactly princess related. They're just what I'm using. I had such high hopes to only use stuff that was like fit the theme, but then I realised that in some areas of my makeup collection, I just don't have the product to actually be able to do that effectively. So, um, yeah. That's part of that thing about not beating myself up when things don't quite work out. Like, you know, last month I didn't actually film my Pokemon video, which I was really pissed at myself about because I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't get to actually filming. Um, I had some things happen that were a little bit challenging um, and upsetting, and so I didn't... I didn't do everything I was planning on doing last month. Okay, so one of the eyeshadows that I'm using is this quad. This is from uh, Kmart in Australia. I'm going to set the primer with this lightest colour here. This is pretty much what I've, like last week when I went to uni, I'm going to do the look that I basically did um, those days. 
it's pretty simple, not a lot to it. Just, and I'm going basically right up to the brow bone with that one. It's sort of going to act like my brow bone highlight as well as setting and providing a base for the rest of the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in with, um, I'm sort of just going to like tap between these two mid-tone shades here to get some colour on my brush. These are a little pouty. They're not the best eyeshadows. Um, I'm just going to work that into the crease just to start adding a little bit of definition using the same brush that I used to um, put on the base colour. Not going for complicated. And you know, the, the theme is pastel princess, so I'm sort of trying to go for a more subtle um subtle subtle look. Um, rather than going like all out. I mean I could, but I'm not going to. basically what we have. I'm going to get a my where's it gone? My C brush, which is an elf brush. I'm going to go into the darkest shade in here. Let's work that into the crease a little. this you could then maybe go back in to this shade or this shade and build up the color on your lid and you could be done like you could just put some mascara on and you'd be done nice simple look doesn't take too much time not super duper complicated but that's not me <laughs> so another thing that I have which is um, royal based is this single eyeshadow. This is from Ardency In. Uh, this is called Royal and it is a royal purple. Um, it's got hard pan which is bloody annoying. I'm just taking a... I could just scrape it off but let's work my brush on the outside edge and in the gaps. I'm trying to get some product on it. Um, I'm going to use that to deepen the outside corner a bit more. I really need to scrape off the hard pan. It's driving me crazy. If you're wondering what hard pan is, if you take a look at this pan, I'm on camera, focus. See that weird shiny finish? That's hard pan. And if you were to take a tool it's like this crusty bit on the top of the eyeshadow. I don't know why some shadows do it and other shadows don't. But that spot where I just took the hard pan off, I now get much better payoff. Like the colour comes off so much better. So, yeah, just if you get it, just scrape it off. It'll probably come back. Um, some people, when it happens, they use. Um, they repress the shadow, which can stop it from happening. I'm just going to blend that. I'm 
Okay, and lastly for the eyeshadow, um, I will go under the eye in a minute, but on the lid of the eye, I am going to go in with, this is from, whoops, Galactic Beauty, and this is one of their star shadows, this is a pink ruffle, I thought princesses, pink ruffles, seems appropriate. And it's just a soft glittery pink and I'm just putting that on the lid because I like the way it looks and that is pretty much the extent of the eyelid with this one nothing, nothing super fancy smashy It's actually funny, a lot of the things I picked are like almost space themed and it was completely accidental, it was just what happened. So under the eye I'm going to go back in with Royal and just my pencil brush and just put a little right along the lash line. So you get very purple look. This, this month and of course I just got eyeshadow in my eye Jesus Christ I'm so talented and my headband's falling off uh, so for eyeliner because I'm going purple um, I have a few choices actually um, that I picked out actually two choices um, I have the black felt tip liner from Ultra 3 which I've used before which is not my favorite um, I have the glimmer sticks in cosmic brown from Avon which is what I'm going to tight line with because I didn't put in a black and not that you need a black to tight line but I'm just saying And I quite like these glimmer sticks. They're just kind of expensive for what they are. And, um, yeah, uh, Avon's not that easy to get in Australia. Well, not where I live anyway. Was it Avon who pulled out of Australia? I think it was. Anyway, um, for eyeliner, I'm actually going to use purple eyeliner. This is from Face of Australia. It's called Pure Purple. Um, and purple is the colour of royalty. So, you know, it kind of fits with the pastel princess. It's not pastel, but it's still princess. Just going to use the stupid little brush that they give you with it. Um, uh, and I'm just going to... I actually used this the other day to do my lower lash line like the waterline and it stayed on so nicely like all day but I decided today because I did like black eyeliner decided today I didn't want black eyeliner so again with purple eyeliner Uh, I have a preference for not really doing too much of a wing, mainly because every time I do do a wing, I fag it up so badly. I mean, I have, you know, tips and tricks on how to do a wing uh, that I've shared, but I just, it's just not something I do very often at all. I kind of just prefer to keep it on my eyelid rather than on the outside. Um, sometimes I do it, but it's also got a really weird shaped eyelid on this side. Like, that is literally following my eyelid and it's got this weird dent thing in it. We all have our issues in life. 
So, I forgot my curlers, so I'm not going to curl my eyelashes today because I'm not going to go get them because I can't be bothered. For mascara, I'm using Lash Princess. Oh, look, something with the name Princess. Um, this is, of course, Essence. Um, I'm using the purple sculpted volume one. Uh, I like it. I like it more than I like that one that I was using last month, the one that Tati reckons is good. I did not like that at all. It barely made my lashes black, let alone doing anything else. It was like if you wanted like a super subtle look, then that would be like grey, like or for a kid or something. But I have kind of short, stubby, blonde lashes, and you know, so I want I want something that is going to make them look good. And I just got mascara on my eyelid, and because I haven't curled this size, they're just like sticking straight out. Not a great. Um, on the bottom lash, I'm using my NYX Purple Mascara in. That's a creative name choice. The other thing I found last month with the um, Physician's Formula one that Tardy liked is that it transferred really badly on me. Um, and I, even though I use Lash Genius, Gen Genius, Lash. Genius, which is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is a waterproof top coat. Still transferred. Even when I didn't, and I thought it might be the Clump Crusher, which is what I normally wear on my bottom lashes. Um, but I put, I wore no Clump Crusher one day, like nothing on my bottom lash line, and I still ended up with it all over my, like down here. Um, so yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. I mean, I'll probably still use it a couple of times, but I'll probably use it as a layering mascara rather than... Because, you know, I don't want to waste it, but I just don't like it. You know? That's how I feel about a lot of things. I don't want to waste them, but if they're, like, really terrible, I will get rid of them. It's not that it's terrible, it's just it's not... You know, when someone like Tati recommend something you kind of expect that it is going to be pretty great and it's just mediocre it's it kind of sad so I'm going to zoom out and finish my face as usual this video is taking a stupidly long time because I talk too much and don't actually do anything while I'm talking just kind of sit there talking so, in the lip department, I have two lip liners. I have CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Sophisticated. And I have the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Rich. Because I thought both of those are appropriate for um, Princess Royal. An itch on my face. So, I'm going to use Sophisticated. Which is purple-ish. I tend to just fill in my whole lips, it's just what I do. Then for lip colours, I have several choices. I have from Lacquer & Co Boss Lady, which makes me think of the Queen every single time. I have um, a NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair, because it's a pastel pink. Um, I have Love Me by Essence, which is also sort of a pastel pink. Um, I have from NYX Liquid Suede, I have Sway, which is a pastel purple. 
and I have from Revlon Colorburst Lip Gloss in Tinsel Town. So I'm going to use the purple NYX. I think that colour is fucking awesome. <laughs> I know not everybody would agree with me. It's not um it's not an everybody colour, but it's a me colour. Like, probably makes my teeth look super yellow. But I don't care. So I'm just gonna blow up. I always do because otherwise it transfers really badly. Um sometimes. Um, but I also like to add lip gloss on top, so I'm going to use my, um, in case you didn't know, this is an iridescent topper. It's got like pink and green sparkles in it. And I like it. It's fun. perfect kiss mark on my tissue. Um, yeah, so I am going to use the last of my Lacura Photo Fit Makeup Setting Spray. There might actually be one use left in there. <laughs> Uh, and that is it for my makeup basket and my look. Um, the other people who are doing this will be linked down below. This, of course, is in collaboration with The Geeks and Beauties. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup basket and makeup look videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.